Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between using the return keyword versus the exit keyword when leaving a C or C++ main function. So normally what we see at the end of our main functions is we see this return zero. What this is indicating is it's saying if we get to this point, we're going to exit the main program and we're going to return this value back to our system. So if I go ahead and save this file here, and then I go ahead and compile the file in my terminal. Actually, I should show you here that I've actually got that file in this current directory here, and you can also see it here. So this is two ways I'm looking at the file here. If I go ahead and I'll clear the screen and I'll compile the leave main.cpp file, which is what we're looking at here, and we'll give it an executable name of lm for leave main by including this minus o flag and naming the executable lm like this. Go ahead and push enter. Now we've created this executable. So we can run the executable by typing dot forward slash lm. And as you can see, nothing happens because we didn't really instruct our program to do anything interesting. But something actually did happen. We actually did return a value and we can see this value by going back to our terminal here and typing in echo dollar question mark, and we can see that return value here. So to demonstrate this a little bit better, let's just go ahead and change this value to a five, and we'll save it. We'll go ahead and compile it once again, and then we'll do dot forward slash lm to run the program. And now if I say echo dollar question mark, we can see that we now have the return value of five. So another way that we can exit the main program is we can use the exit keyword. And so the exit keyword, has parentheses and then you put the return value within the parentheses so let's just go ahead and use three this time we'll save that clear the screen and then we'll compile one more time we'll run our executable and now we'll go ahead and say echo dollar question mark to see what our return value is and we see we have the value three so what is the difference between using exit versus using return well there's one key difference and in order to see that let's do a little bit of coding within the main function so we can choose one or the other and kind of see the results so let's go ahead and get rid of this for now and we're going to create a string variable as you can see I've included the string library here and so I'm going to create a string and I'm just going to name this string choice. And it's basically going to hold the choice that we want. We are going to either want to exit using the exit keyword or the return keyword. We're going to store one or the other of those words within this choice variable. And so then we'll just do a do while loop. And so do means we want this to happen at least one time. We'll say see out to prompt the user to enter some information. And let me go ahead and expand this a little bit more here. And we're just going to ask the user to choose exit or return. So we'll say exit it or return and we'll end that with a semicolon and then we'll grab their input from the keyboard and we'll store it in our string variable that we named choice and so the do is saying do this at least once and then we'll make sure that they entered either exit or return and not some other strange value so we'll accomplish that by saying while choice dot compare exit and choice dot compare return semicolon. So what in the world did I just do there? So okay, the do says do this one time and then the while says continue to do this as long as this guy and this guy is true. Okay, so true in Boolean means that we have a non-zero value. So essentially we're saying if either this call returns zero or this call returns zero, then this will be false and we won't continue to do the stuff inside of do anymore. So when are we going to get a zero here or a zero here? Well, this string dot compare, in our case, what the user entered, we're comparing that with the word exit. And if the user entered the word exit, this will return a zero. If that's the case, this while condition will get a zero or false, and we will no longer go back into this do section. Likewise, if what the user entered we compare that value with return. If the user entered the word return, this guy right here will return a zero, and then the while will look at that and say, oh, this is false, which means it won't go back into the do section again, and it will exit. So basically what's happening here is we ask the user for input, we grab their input, and we're gonna keep asking them for input until they enter either exit or return. So that's what happens here. So one thing to point out is I can do this because I'm using the string class here, and so choice is a string and compare is a method that's part of the string class. And so I'm kind of using just some information that's included in this library here to take care of this in an easy way. Now that the user has entered either exit or return, we're going to 
check to see what they entered. So once again, we'll look at the choice that they entered and we'll compare that to the word exit. And if what they entered is the same as the word exit, then this compare method is going to return the value zero. So if that's the case, for now we'll just print out you chose and then we'll just print out what they chose just so you guys can see what's happening here. We'll put a new line and let's go ahead and give myself some more space here. And so if they didn't choose the word exit, then that means they chose the word return. So we'll just go ahead and print that out for the moment so we can make sure this is working the way we think it is. And I suppose we should put a space here and a space there so things look nice. And since they chose exit here, let's just go ahead and say exit one, for example. We could do that and maybe for the return, we'll put return seven. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll clear our terminal. We'll compile the program, name the executable LM, and then we'll run the program. And so we get prompted exit or return. Let's just type in something different than that just to make sure that our do while loop is working correctly. And so we'll just say leave and it says exit or return because it didn't get one of those values. So okay, let's say exit this time. And it says you chose exit and exit our return value was one. So let's go ahead and see if that's what we got back by saying echo dollar question mark and we got the value one clear the screen one more time and I'm just going to give us a space here we'll save the program recompile rerun the program and this time I'll type in the word return and it says you chose return we'll type echo dollar question mark to make sure that we got the value seven and we did so let's go ahead and clear the screen now so the do while loop seems to be working the way we expected it to when we choose exit we exit with one. When we choose return, we return seven. So, so far these are looking really similar. So what is the difference here? So to see the difference, what we have to do is let's just go back to the top of the program here and let's create a class. So I'll call this class and I'll call it leave and we have to end our classes with a semicolon and we'll create a public section in here. So inside of our public section, we're just going to create a constructor and a deconstructor so that we can see the difference between these two keywords. So to create a constructor, we simply type the name of the class, open and close parentheses, and then we can go ahead and define what the constructor does here. And so this is what's going to be called whenever we create a new leave object. So all we're gonna make our constructor do is we're going to make it print the message object has been created. Put a new line there and end that with a semicolon. And then we'll create a deconstructor by typing tilde, the name of the class, in this case it's leave, open and close parentheses. And then inside of the body of the deconstructor, we're going to print a message that says object has been destroyed. Okay, so I save the file here. So basically the constructor is going to be called when the object is created and the deconstructor is going to be called when the object goes out of scope. And in the deconstructor, you'd want to make sure that you are deallocating memory as necessary so that when you're done using the object, you don't leave yourself with memory leaks. In our case, we're just going to print these two messages to let us know when the object is created and when the object is destroyed. So now let's go down to our main function. And let's go ahead and create a leave object. So I can do that by typing leave, the name of the class, and then we'll name our leave object and I'll just name it L for leave. So here we have a leave object named L. Let's go ahead and save our program and we'll run it once again and see what happens. So first we want to compile and we'll name our executable with a minus O flag. We'll name it LM once again. And then we'll go ahead and run our executable by typing in dot forward slash LM. And so here we see that the object has been created. So let's go ahead and choose to exit our main program by typing the keyword return. So we'll type return and it says you chose return and your object has been destroyed. We can echo the result and we can see that it's seven as we would expect from our return. So if we exit on a return keyword, our object gets destroyed. So let's go ahead and clear the terminal and we'll run the program one more time. The object has been created. This time let's exit the program using the exit keyword. In this case, when we use the exit keyword, the deconstructor did not get called when we exited the main program. And that's the main key difference between using the exit or return keywords. So what does this actually mean to you as a programmer? If you're using a, a normal operating system, the operating system is going to deallocate this memory for you upon exit. So this is really only an issue if you're not using a standard operating system. The main difference between the two is when we use the return keyword, the deconstructor of our objects are called. Whereas if we just use the exit keyword, we just simply exit. The program without calling any deconstructors for our objects. So anyway, that's the difference between using the exit and return keywords. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe to stay updated on new releases from my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day and don't forget to subscribe.